that's not an issue. Let's go out of halftime now. Six <clears> to nine. So we get the ball at second and four. Great and this is what I thought. Here. Bro, this is what I thought we were doing all day. This is yeah. honestly what I thought the offense was supposed to be this week. You put you put Mercedes on a linebacker or a safety, you let him drive block, and you just take one of their outside guys who isn't like the most physical person, and you have them make the play coming in from the side on the hole. We have a 17 yard gain here. And it's like, mm-hmm. fantastic. Ryan. That's not rocket science, though. You know no. what I mean? Like, that, yeah. that wasn't a rocket science play. We just didn't see a lot of it. We saw a lot of the end arounds and the motions and the, yeah, and, and all the nonsense. But it's like, let's have some attitude plays. And, it, you know, that, that'll get you fired up. Yeah. You see inside leverage here. This is, I think this is a miss. I don't know if this is a miss by Dobbs or Aaron Rodgers. You know, I, I, I think it was maybe a low throw. But you got that. You got two outside leverage guys again. Aaron knows pre snap where he's going to go with the football. You got two slants here, and this is a big third down because you're you're driving. You, you have an opportunity at third and seven to mm-hmm. pick up this first down and continue this drive. And you tell me, it looks like maybe it was a little bit low. Is that right? It looks a little low, but ca- to me, it looks catchable. Catch- it, looks, it looks like it hits him in his hands. Yeah, so. that's what I I I I heard I heard from somebody that it was low, and I kind of I'm watching this and. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's. It's a low ball. You, it's you hope a low can, ball. You hope he can, he can just, make it. Yep, he can adjust by maybe falling into it because that's that's key. Like that's experience. You know, knowing your quarterback, how he throws balls in, in that situation. That's a Devonte catch. That's a catch. You know, you got guys that are experienced. That's a good you know, way to put it. Yeah, that's Alan a, Lazard. That's, like that's a catch, catch. Yeah. because you know it's a low ball. Like I see Tom Brady do this with his receivers. He's getting his receivers out of harm's way. You know what? I'm gonna throw it low. You could catch it and then slide towards the first down because you're untouched. You know, that is almost like a conversation that's happened in every practice from training camp to every Wednesday, seven on seven drill. Hey, hey you know, when we're on the goal line, it's third and short or, or, we're, or not goal line. But if we're, you know, trying to convert on a third and medium, I'm going to throw it low so you could just catch and slide. You don't get hit. Nothing. Hand the ball to the ref. You know, keep the ball moving first down. So those are just one of those experience things you could see on that play with uh with Romeo Dobbs there in between him and Aaron. And why does that play matter? Yeah, right, right because here. We, yeah, we now we donk it off. You know, last week this was good. Bounce not going our way this week in a number of a number of different ways. And then yeah. literally, next play, Jamal Williams goes off. Big run, physical. Getting Physi- them. I, but Love see, it. he's. He, I mean, he's ready. You know, yes. what I mean, he was ready all day long. And what I'm pointing out here is, you got a ton of dudes over here on the on the left side of the screen. There's nobody in the B gap, no. and so. It's either Quay is supposed to get there or your defensive tackle is supposed to loop out. Now, given that everybody's over here on the line to come in and these guys are slanting, I'm guessing the defensive tackle was supposed to loop out here and he didn't. Mm. But but because he didn't, because they were able to run this double-double and capture this guy, I mean, bro, I can run through that hole. Yeah, I think. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, but it's just mindful, you know, work there where Quay has to see that happen and might maybe... He, you know, he's still reacting as a as, as young player, you know, reacting, knowing that outside where, he, oh, my God, my guy didn't loop out. He looped in or he stayed in because of the double team. You jump out there, just just be a football player. Just know where you as a defender, you got to fill those run fits. Those are the gaps that defenders look at. Linebackers are it's all about gaps. If you're fixing that, you're going to cover that outside gap there, that B gap. Mm-hmm. And knowing this tackle is going to go inside potentially and he's doubled anyway, then it, this mindful play, hey, I got to go fill a gap. If I'm not there, it's going to be wide open. And, that, and the, the hard thing is, like, you're playing linebacker and a guy's coming right at you because they're double teaming off the line of scrimmage. Like, it's just if you if you don't pre snap, see, like, okay, my guy, like, my, I, I think the guy's looping out. I'm, right. I'm probably going to hit this A gap hard. And all of a sudden, it just doesn't happen. All of a sudden, the guy's coming yeah, towards A-gap. you. He didn't loop. It's like, this is, these are, these are pre snap issues. Like, this is, this is what we call in tennis, like, what are they, self enforced error? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Un- unnecessary. And then you come back to, again, the very next play, and we talked about it before, they do a great job doing understander play action pass, and they get Jared got off the, Goff off the spot. What was nuts about this is they very rarely roll him the other way, and his ability to flip his hips here is nuts. Like, yep. that is a big thing. Dude, he got his toe all the way around to where yep. he wanted to throw this ball. This is – you got to give it out. This is a great call by Ben Johnson. This yep. is a great execution by the line and the fullback in particular, getting Preston Smith to go inside and suck him in. And then Goff getting these hips around here. Like this was, they talked about the back end of this uh, on TV against Ford and like they should, it was mm. a great route, but bro, this is, this is a hard, hard play action throw for Jared Goff. 
This is what you talk about. The guy can make it. This is why number two pick in the draft. Yeah. That's big time, man. Yeah, to get around, flip your hips, and point your dough forward is basically giving your every, uh, I say, quality of detail for you to win on that throw as a quarterback. You give yourself a high percentage to win. You know, he doesn't flip the hips. He doesn't point the toe. Then it's, it's a, the percentage goes down. But as the percentage the percentage is high because flips, hips are flipped, toe is pointed, and he throws with all – he's able to put all his power into that throw. We talk about, you know, being able – like making Goff throw, like move to his left. That's great. But not if he gets his – if his feet down, it's a whole different story, right? We're talking yeah, like it is. on the it's run and getting your feet set. Like that, the kid can, can sling it now. So they score. Jamal Williams goes in. Ties Barry Sanders yeah. for most single-season touchdowns of all time, by the way, on the Lions, which was nuts to hear. No, I mean, like I was like, wow. So good job. So we come back and they've you know Zach Tom came in the game and replaced Josh. And again, let, let's not even speculate what was going on there. But mm -hmm. this is you know you got young players in the game and this is part of the problem, right? So he's got play action pass and for whatever reason, Josh and you saw this even more in, 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 during the game if they showed the Enzo copy, but he's pointed the wrong direction. Like I don't know how else to say it. Like he's getting mm. he's giving up the inside gap. Yeah. He didn't. He's his feet have shifted, so he was in a stance to where his right foot was back. Now his left foot, left foot's back. He shifted to the inside, but he's blocking the B gap, and you give up a pressure. This is a this is an unforced error. This is an unnecessary. It's unnecessary. There's no reason that should happen. It's just yeah. footwork. That's just fundamentals, basic mm -hmm. fundamentals of the game. I love these kind of plays. You got first and ten. You got two guys coming down to block Hutchinson. So we used to call this K four protection. Ag. Okay. In Green Bay or Miami? In Carolina, actually. Oh, Carolina. So K okay. K four was basically you were gonna you were gonna full slide left or right. So if it was four, you're gonna slide to the left, and then you'd mm -hmm. have tied in. You'd have two guys running at the defensive end. It was basically saying you you five block the other four plus anything else that comes. Any garbage that comes. Any garbage, and then the running backs have responsibility for the guy in the defensive end. It's like the first guy takes a shot, the second guy cleans up. And it just gives you time, especially under center play action like they run here, to get Watson open. And Watson just makes a phenomenal play. This yeah. is regardless of uh, you know, how this game. season ended. You got to be excited about this guy next year, huh? Yeah, um, him. He grew up this game. He 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 grew an extra la a layer of experience and confidence mm -hmm. um, in himself, and he definitely got it from Aaron. And like I know we're gonna talk about it later, but looking at the roster for the Packers, I'm I'm feeling good about next season. You know, I know if I'm Aaron, I'm like, when he says you got to think, we're going to talk about that. I know we already talked about it. He got to think about some things. Well, think about this. You got Romeo and Watson now have a year under their belt. Now they have confidence. They've been beat up. They've been thrown to the briar of a patch. So now they, they've they been in the thorns, getting beat up, getting ridiculed, and now have come out of that with their heads up. So for me, I'm looking very optimistic at the mini camps, training camp, get ready for the next season just to make sure guys stay healthy, you know. That's the I'm biggest with you. thing. I'm with you. So, so we we go down, we score, get the ball back. These are these little plays in the game. Talking about Dobbs. Listen, this happens. You know this, but you got to appreciate one how good Aaron Rodgers is. Oh my God, the ball was literally hit him in the eight. That was <laughs> that was a handoff. That's that's a that's literally a handoff. That's how perfect he threw that ball. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just the quarterback knowing. Okay, I got man covered, so I could throw it behind the DB's head. He's not going to look into the last minute. By the time he looks, the ball is in my receiver's hands. Literally, all he had to do is put a cradle. He's got to put my hands. He's got to put his hands there and then squeeze once he feels the ball. <laughs> that, that that look kind of said it all, didn't it? Yeah. So, so it's 13-16, fourth quarter now. Detroit gets the ball back. And, I mean, Jamal's just – they're starting to – you just felt that the momentum was with the Lions and they're just starting to take over. And you just see, yeah. like, you stop the ball right here. You just see all of these by. Look at their offensive line that's clustered in this four pack right here. They're all mm -hmm. facing the same direction. Yep. Just They're like looking for body. They look just pushing people down. And then you see the tight end coming across to We're block Preston in. Smith. Yep. And he's just does, a great play. Just you know, a great, great play. And we, you know, we talk about, hunting. we talk about Quay a lot, man. And like, you know, he makes a ton of tackles eight yards downfield. And that's not yeah. necessarily his fault. It's just how it's looked this year. And that's, just, that's certainly something that I think from his style of play is one thing, but it also has a it has a lot to do with what's going on up front, especially on you know play like that. Yeah, yeah, and it and that'll be stuff to take in the offseason. You know, if you have if he's a pro, 
if or if somebody needs to show him take notes of his gameplay throughout the year and what he struggled at that'll be one thing should be high on his priority list you know play reaction play recognition so i can get down in the gap to use my physical abilities to get in the um, hole right away okay so i i showed that last play just to show that we now had this pretty big i believe this is a fourth and two okay mm -hmm. and it's fourth so it's fourth and two and you've got both corners I don't know. Are they are they eight yards off? Seven yards they off? They are at seven least eight, yeah, seven to eight yards yeah. off the ball. Which so, yeah, so they're doesn't off. Make sense. It's, it's a two yard route. That's it. Just sit, sit at the sticks. I just sit at the sticks. And this happened twice. It, ha it happened show the twice. last. It happened, it happened twice. It happened, the last play of the game as well. And you yeah. just go. I and this has been like you. You get on. Listen, you can get on the internet and people are going, "Why are they play out?" There's a reason that they play off in a lot of these situations. And the it reason is, is because yeah. they would rather just give ground and not get beat deep, right? That's mm -hmm. that's that's why they do this. But in these situations, with the guy with the qual especially with the quality of player that Jerry Alexander is, and it's a fourth and two look, like I'm taking him to not get beat on the on the go route. I'm taking it. Like you yeah. got to like sometimes you got to live and die with your guys. Like if you mm -hmm. got a guy, you got to take advantage. Make at least make Goff go to the other side. But yeah. like if I'm Jair Alexander, I'm I'm thinking. I know he's you know he might just be going, dude. I don't care. They got a four. They got a two yard gain. Like it doesn't matter. And it's like, well, it, it does matter in your stats at the end of the year. Someone's gonna say, oh, they got this catch for two yards. It didn't matter. But like it does matter. Yeah, it does you know matter because, in this because it moved the sticks. It it does matter. And so I I think. I think there's usually two things going on. One, from a player's perspective, they're like, dude, I'd rather give that up than not get beat. But I don't think he's like – I'm slowly starting to understand that a lot of his bravado is not like – it's not bullshit. Like, he really thinks he's that good. So, like, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, so, like, if you think you're that good, bro, like, you need to – hey, plant your flag in the ground. Joe Barry, put this man – put this guy in press. Don't let him yeah. do this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing that. I'm giving them an the opportunity to make plays for themselves, for the team, you know, for themselves, for the team. And this was something that obviously came back later. It hurt him. He's and, so uh, bombastic sometimes that you you know you go, ah, oh, he, this is he's just doing this. You're like, no, he, I, I I'm 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 beginning to believe that dude, 100 percent thinks that he's he's the he's it. He's the guy. He's the cock and the balls. You know what I mean? Like he's he's it. Yeah. And, like I respect the hell out of it, honestly, because like it, it's hard it's it's hard to be the guy. And he, thinks, and he thinks, but if you're going to be the guy, then in those situations, your coordinator has to allow you to be the guy as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Put the players in the best place, in the best situation to win. So the only reason I brought this in is because they didn't show Quay. Uh, they didn't show Quay pushing the, the like the twenty three year old twenty three year old intern trainer, and then they <laughs> didn't show Wyatt. The two Rick first round rookies. Then Wyatt comes up and like kind of walks up and chess, like gives him like the chess kind of tough guy thing. And you're like, it's almost like, really? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know what they were doing. I'm yeah, like, do they like, know him? I'm like, do they well, know yeah, him personally? Like, yeah, you, you almost hope it's a joke. You yeah. Know? It's like, why I'm would like, you? What would be the point of doing that? So this is the last time you see him. Quay Walker. Yeah, in, in the 2022, 2023 season. This is his last play. Uh, you know, I just – and so and so Wyatt goes over, does the chest bump thing. And listen, the, these guys got bright futures, and, and people make – I've we've all made mistakes, right? Yeah. It's just kind of – it's just kind of – but this is a big situation. This kind of stuff is just being young too, though. Goal line. Now, they're going to run the trap again. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he plays wide. Now, when you see Panay Sewell come down and double Kenny right here, you see that, dude, you got to take space, bro. Your head's there. Like, you see him going down. Mm -hmm. You got to take space. You can't go straight up field. His second step here goes back. He's all the way on the other side of his hash with his left foot. Yeah. You can't You can't make it that easy for people, right? And this is just part of being young. Yeah. You got to close that gap. I'm not saying they're going to hold him out the whole time. What I am saying is don't let it be in your gap. This is in your gap. This is on you. You know, because then the double team gets pushed right into DeAndre Campbell, and it's pretty much a walk-in for Jamal. Nothing you can do, right? Nothing. So it looks like we got five minutes left. We're down four. 
Now, this is a second and two look, AG, and I, I just stopped it here because mm -hmm. second and two, the green line, for those of you watching at home, is the line, is the line of scrimmage. Now, you see one of our guys on his side on the floor in the field position. And yep. again, until I mentioned them, do you know the, the starting defensive tackles for the, the Detroit Lions? Oh, they're Bugs and McNeil? Yeah, Bugs and McNeil. Yeah, okay. I looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> now, I clearly didn't give them the amount of respect they deserved because we got one guy on the ground, we got one guy making the tackle in the backfield, and we got yeah. our, our, deep, our left tackle pushed back in the backfield. Yeah. This is a play side inside zone run. That's all it is. Yeah, and it's, it's already destroyed. It's been destroyed from the yeah. start. You're just Isn't going, it? you got to be joking. No, I want to. Make your plays. We give the ball back, and this is this is the drive that ends the Green Bay Packers season. Yeah, it is. I mean, and this is, this is drives that run game coordinators, running back coaches, O-line coaches, this is what this is what we get this is what they get excited for. This is the dream. <clears throat> this is four minute football. Yes. Um Edgar used to say to me, and he said, at this point of the game, AG, don't even look at the sideline. Don't you're you're staying in there the whole drive. You're gonna end this game. And you know what? I'll be like at, after a while, it's like, you know what, coach? Yeah, I won't even I don't even think about looking. You damn right, I want the ball. I want to end this game. You know, and that's how a running back thinks when this is put on me and my old line, let's go. You know, let's make this happen. No problem. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to make sure the ball gets converted. Hold on to it. If I'm play action pass protection, any of that's going to happen. Let's go. You know, we got two doubles mm -hmm. on the inside here. Frank right now in the left guard and the right guard, right tackle. Frank Rano does a great job. So Frank's all pro center. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gets his first block and they see how they're staying square here and they're rising up to Devondre Campbell. So he can get off on Devondre. He's got to try to make an arm tackle. Savage, who by the way, Savage had a good game. I didn't, well. There wasn't he a lot of stuff to put on it here, but he, he he played he played a good game. I know they got. He, I think he led the team in tackles. They had two PBUs. Mm -hmm. um, played a good game though. But that's so first down of that of the drive for the season, and he didn't get nine yards. Yeah. <clears throat> Second down, we got a rookie jump off sides. Automatic first here. You just go. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's tough. Yeah. It happens, but it's tough. So now they have a holding call, second and 17. They had the holding call on the, on the wide receiver screen on the left, right? Number 82 got the hold. Mm -hmm. And Ben Johnson pulls this play out and probably gets himself a head coaching job. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, hook like, and ladder. I'm like, oh, my God. Behind Beautiful. the line of scrimmage, hook and ladder. Now, <laughs> Benet Sewell – Gets a lot of notoriety. He was the first round pick out of Oregon. Super good athlete. Yeah. Darnell Savage is the unfortunate victim here of a splattering. Yeah, he and he wasn't even in the right position to hit him. Sewell no. just hit him from he hit him basically. His hips are turned one way. He just takes his other body turns. And it's like, take that. I I'm mean, like, <laughs> we already tough. know he's an athlete. So yeah, he's yeah. So they get down, and now it's third and three. Our man, Chris Barnes, in the game. Now, here's what's kind of weird. Devondre Campbell's down here on the line of scrimmage. I, for me, I put a defensive end in. Up to you. Yeah. But they just very easily down block him. But Chris Barnes runs through it, makes the play. Fourth down. Everything oh. you want. By the way, let's go back. Sorry, I, we have to go back and appreciate this. Okay. okay. No. Oh, Mike. Come on now. Here we go. Awesome. Now, not LaFleur hoping that everybody, you know, cheers – louder but look at chris gizzy's mustache he yeah, looks like perfect does he look like he looks like super mario <laughs> that's unbelievable what a gizzy. strong stash. gizzy what a yeah. that guy's a stud by the way he, he, he's a stud yeah all right so fourth and one we've already been through this but up oh, where are you going where yeah. are you going right he's he was already backing up like what are you backing up for back pedal okay so right now it, he's ten yards off, or nine yards off, off yeah. of his player. It's a what he has to throw the ball one yard for those playing at home. The quarterback has to throw one yard vertically before the DB can break and and run eight yards vertically. Doesn't seem that hard. Right. Just, I'm just saying. Right. 
So they sit down. I don't know if he thought Chris Barnes was going to be able to get all the way over here because if they did, then this guy's wide open as well because Jair's way off his guy. So this could be either either cornerback. I just – this is a tough way, man. It's just a tough yeah. way to end the season right there. Yeah, and it's, it is. And I guess it's fitting because it's kind of been there the whole time. <laughs> 